So what we're going to have a look at now is, is a demo of uh, Navity's system actually working. So Carsten's going to show us something here with his laptop set up. So, so this is actually a... Uh, the, the component part price of this system is actually around uh, $5. The CPU is $1. It's a tiny 8-bit CPU. It got uh, 1 kilobyte of RAM. And uh, right now we are using... For the complete logic and everything, we're using uh, four kilobytes of uh, code. Okay. And uh, actually, uh, this what I want to show is uh, how we can uh, type in a URL into the browser and actually a, a normal, just a normal request. Make this a very compact request here in four bytes, mm -hmm. uh, where the first byte is actually the request ID. The second two bytes is actually the sensor is, that is located up here, and uh, this will uh, run over to the, to the small system on chip uh, hardware and be uh, uh, presented as a web page. Okay. So what we do? So I prepared this uh, link, but uh, so we don't have to type it in. And as we saw, it'll actually respond fairly quickly for a very small device. Um, and, uh, yeah. So this is acting as a temperature sensor now? Yeah, right now this is actually a temperature sensor that is read by the CPU. And so when you touch it there, then we're going to see the temperature right. on the screen. It's going to go up. You can see it goes up pretty quickly. Yeah. And also it responds pretty quickly for such a small device, actually. And if you had to have all these graphics and everything on the device, that will actually uh, flood the device. As to it, it, yeah, it's actually impossible to build such a, 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 a full-blown uh, web server on such a small device with a TCP IP stack and web server and so on. So, uh, yeah. Great. Thank you for showing us the demo. Thank you.